International travel is not difficult for me, especially traveling by myself as a single female. I taught English in China for three years. If I could teach English in China and I was there by myself for three years, then I should be able to travel to different countries, of course, countries that are safe, by myself. Teaching English abroad opens up opportunities for you to travel. So I'm going to Copenhagen tomorrow. I wanted to just do some traveling, right? So right now I'm packing, but I was playing myself because I wanted to go with my new Michael Kors duffel bag, but I was playing myself. How much could I really fit in here? I wanted to bring this and just be on my way. I do nothing special. All I do is just pack the things that I feel I'm going to need, the things that I want to bring with me, I'm good to go. Now, let me show you how I do it. I have everything on the bed organized from clothes to, to medicine to technology, toiletries. That's how I have everything organized. Of course, I'm traveling internationally, you gotta have your passport. Okay, and because I'm traveling to Denmark, they do not require visa, so I'm good with just passport. So the first thing that I like to do when I'm packing, I'm just going to start by packing my clothes. Now in Denmark around this time, the temperature, it is cold there. The range between upper 30s, upper 40s. So I'm packing like sweaters, um, hoodies, jeans, sneakers, things of that nature. The jeans that have the cuts in them, I have these leggings, like these leg warmers that I'm going to put underneath my, my jeans. So if I get cold, and I probably will, then this will keep me warm. These to wear my pink leggings. I, oh, I think I'm probably going to wear this for the plane ride. This pink shirt, the plane, it gets cold. It's like they blast the, the AC. So I have my outfit. For the plain white, I'm thinking to wear my pink Nike. 